Hello, my most amazing artists. We have a guest teacher today, so I'm gonna walk you through our lesson um, pretty quickly here before you get started, and that way you know exactly what to do. Hopefully I'll answer some questions for our guest teacher too. So before we start coloring in our Earth Day poster, which I think they all look really amazing, you wanna make sure that you finish tracing with your permanent marker. And if your permanent marker is kind of a dud, go ahead and trade it out for a nice dark colored one. Da da. We're gonna talk about great coloring. Okay, great coloring. Um, now, just a little heads up that I am at my house and there's a good possibility that you might see my cat or my dog at any point in this video. So um, just, just a forewarning. We're gonna talk about this scale right here. This thing right here in the middle is called a scale. Now, when you use a scale, you use it to measure things and we're measuring the greatness. So if something is heavier on a scale, it's usually worth more or more valuable and something is lighter, it's less valuable because it doesn't weigh as much. So we are going to take a look at this side first, the side that is up because it is less valuable. And let's chat about some of the things we see. Up here we have bold spots in coloring. So there's empty areas that are left in there and that's definitely not some great coloring right there. Can you see that okay? Good. Um, this one right here is uh, coloring outside of the line. So when we're coloring inside of our little palette there in our paintbrush, try your best to stay inside your lines. So no bold spots, make sure that we don't have any of that going on. Stay inside your lines. Take your time, slow and steady. And then this one, if you see, look closely, this one has um, lines going this way and that way and this way and that way. They're all over the place. So this one is multiple directions. We wanna try to pick one direction to go. Now I know it's, sometimes it's hard when you're coloring to go the same direction the whole time. So you might have to turn your paper or you might kind of curve it a little bit, but try to blend it in there, okay? So some great coloring though. Over here on this side of our scale, we've got um, right here, all the way colored in. Smooth, nice, filled in circle. So your paint palette and your paintbrush should look like this today. This one, let's go to this one. We stayed inside of the lines. Very nice. This one has coloring that is going in one direction. Looks like we went back and forth for this one. This one has some blending. Oh yes, you can definitely do blending with your earth and your paintbrush. If it was me, I would do like maybe some dark green on the outside part of the green and then a lighter green on the inside part. Just an idea. And finally, if you want to put some texture in there, you certainly could. So let's take it for a little spin here, shall we? All right, heading on down, that's my hand, hello. <laughs> Heading on down, let's check it out. Get my old crayon box out here. I wanna use a light green for the inside part of my land and a dark green for the outside. So I'm gonna just model that nice coloring where we are doing our very best. I'm gonna stay inside those lines. I'm going to blend my darker green into my lighter green. So right now, as I'm going around the outside, I am just coloring along the edge. I'm not keeping it one direction here. But I am trying to kind of keep it about the same amount of thickness as I go around. There we go. My dogs are wrestling in the background, if you hear that <laughs> crazy <laughs> growly noise. They didn't want to be left out of the video. There we go. Nice, nice. Finish strong, slow and steady. You've got the entire class time today to color, so do not rush. If anybody gets their paper and five minutes later says, I'm done, then you rushed. Take your time. Okay, now let's blend those together. I'm gonna to try to color in one direction, staying inside the lines. Just like this. Not leaving any bald spots. There 
here we go. I am getting there. We're gonna do that for your entire paint palette that is drawn like an earth. And we're going to also do that for your paintbrush. Now, if you chose to do any bubble letters in your text or your poster like I did with earth, you might wanna color that one in as well. But the background part behind our picture and our words, we're gonna keep that white for our tie-dye print tomorrow. And that's it. Oh, let's take you up. That's what we're doing today in art. If you get done and there's extra time, what you could do is go ahead and stick this back in your folder and then grab a pencil or some colored pencils and just doodle and draw in your art journal. You could also look through some of the pages. There might be some things that you might wanna color in to fill your time. All right, I better go make sure my dogs are not making a mess in my living room and you've gotta get started. We'll talk to you soon. Remember, treat our art teacher guest, guest teacher like gold. Bye for now.